What is up guys, it is Nick, and we are back on Shining Resonance Refrain. I'm just gonna simply pull up the map and run using the map, because it's foggy in the game. Enemy approaching. Get that weave, get that weave, get it, weave! Oh, we're good, we're out. What are we, 34, 34, 34, 33, 30, 29. If Sonya is gonna get her harmonic here, when her dad dies, um, I am definitely down to add her back to the group. I don't know which one is the exit that I need, in fact. So we're just kind of running here and hoping I pick the right way. I think this is right. But I ain't sure. Yeah, this is right. I'm pretty sure. There's the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I did it right. All right, we're back at Marga. Sonia, look over there. What father fighting Excella? This isn't good. I thought he's in no condition to fight. Let us hurry. We must save the king. <laughs> you disappoint me, Knight of the Storm. Is that all? What happened to the skill you displayed in the beginning? <sighs> It seems I've underestimated you, Dragon Princess. It's not too late. I will accept your surrender. I'm afraid not. My plan is almost complete. Your plan? You want to die as a proud Dragoneer? Then so be it. I will strike you down with the dignity you deserve. By my hands, your reign ends here. <laughs> Father? The Dragoneers of Astoria. I'm surprised you made it through Bjorg's army. Bjorg's army was pathetic. That's why I made it through. Sonia, I knew you would make it in time. Father! I see. So this was your plan. No! This can't be happening! Father! Sonia, it's time for you to wake up. What? You are strong, Sonia. You cannot cling to me like a lost child. You don't need my protection. You are a protector. Father? I am no longer the Dragoneer I once was. You know what must be done, don't you? Yes, but Father... It is time I entrusted you with this. This is... Your harmonic? But I... It's all right. You must use it. I know you are worthy. What? I can no longer play the songs. And now, that duty falls to you. Use this power and protect Astoria. You love this land and its people more than anyone else. You can do this. I know the harmonic will answer your call. I will protect Astoria and the people who call it home. He has a giant hand. Look at that hand. It's enormous. Yes. I have to protect them. Like my it's father like, always did. With this harmonic. It's like four times bigger than hers. Yes. That is your destiny. Father. I understand. Father, no. Dragoneer Albert, I will take up your mantle. I will protect my people. People of Astoria, hear me. The night of the storm has fallen. The Armonic has lost its master. But I will carry on his ideals and his legacy. I will stand for the people of Astoria. I will be your shield. Heed my call, Armonic. Unite us in purpose and power! I can feel the power! The Armonic is with me! She got a costume change for this? I am Sonia Blanche, the Dragoneer! I am Blood of the Astorian King and wielder of Draconic Melody! I am the 
thunder. And I am the flash of light that splits the sky. I am the heir of the storm. Well, welcome back to the team, Sonia. You finally got an harmonic. You can finally be a part of the, the, the team. The awakening of a new Dragoneer. I see. This is what the king risked his life to accomplish. Looks like the tables have turned, Excella. I haven't been one long, but I'm still a Dragoneer. I hope you're ready. Hm. Ready indeed. It seems you present a genuine threat now. I suppose if you've awoken to some true power, I owe you my full strength and answer. Perhaps you remember what I told you before? You had not yet seen Trishula's ultimate power. What? I'm gonna smoke Trishula into the next century. Behold, the true strength of a dragon. Trishula, prepare yourself. Receive my power. Oh look, it's it's it's, it's another. I could link like half of the things in this game <laughs> to to Yu-Gi-Oh. She gonna she gonna appear on top of his head like like the winged dragon of raw. The dra the Draco Machina, it's it seems it has been strengthened by the harmonic. It is even stronger than before. Is this the dra Draco Machina's true power? Hold on, boss battle. Calm down. Okay, I can't switch out. We're stuck with Marion for this boss fight. Alright. Alright, you're gonna have to give me a minute. Alright, actually, we're good. Hey. Alright, dragon v dragon. Homie, let's dance. Oh my, 582 damage. I gotta keep an eye on everybody's health. I can't pause the game while on this. Okay, so, whatever. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta... Hold on. Back up, Agnum. Just back all the way up for a second here. Alright. Potion. Actually, let's do this. And then we can actually use a heal mist. And then a mon... Do I need to... No, Kirika's got full health. Or full MP, so that doesn't matter. Let's get Kirka and Yuma to full. Switch back to Yuma. Oh my gosh, there's so much fire. Can you heal Marion, please? Kirika, how do you keep getting hurt so bad? Can you please heal yourself, Kirika? This thing is certified OP. Hold up. everybody hold up. One second here. I gotta I gotta get my MP back up so I can be the dragon. There, Kirika, take one. Heal myself. Where is those things that I bought? Fighting charge. It's time. I don't know what the fighting charge does. Oh, my homie's about to hit us with the. We're about to get wiped off the face of the planet. What is he doing back there? Come here. What are you? Get down here. I need you to heal me. Make sure you heal me. Oh, we broke him. We broke him. Whale on him. Keeping an eye on the health. The thing that made it go all the just absolute 
nightmare level terrible. Well, I got change bags. Gotta keep it. Keeping an eye on everybody's health is more important than anything else. I don't know what happened to start the fight, because we're doing pretty good now. Alright, we're good. Yeah, because, like, we're pretty good on health now. Broke him again. That should be fight. That should be GG. Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. That's the GG. Thirty-three hundred XP. I wish Sonya could have gotten that, but you know. Evil, I'm sorry. Even after you granted me such power. No need for apology, Trishula. We have already won. What? King Albert sought to buy time, but we were doing the same. Oh, Beatrice stole the soul. Beatrice! Is the soul of the Sky Dragon secure? Yep. More secure than before, really. With all the soldiers in the field, they had barely any guards. Easy pickings. But, your highness, with an army like that, couldn't you have just grabbed the soul in an all-out attack? A direct assault would have led to a great deal of unnecessary bloodshed. I would not claim victory by carnage. I much prefer subtlety. This way we avoid casualties on both our side and the Astorians, and still claim our prize. No! I didn't expect the Shining Dragon here, but perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. An opportunity to test my powers. You still want to fight? I've no need to test my martial ability. I could never capture a dragon through brute force. But I have other ways. <laughs> Yuma? What's wrong? I can't move. What? What's going on? <laughs> As I thought. The Armonics were made. The Shining Dragon is still partially sealed as it is. With my Armonic and the power of a Diva Magica, I can control it. You have the powers of a Diva Magica? But how? The Empire has made great strides in occultic research. I have been artificially granted that ability. Shining Dragon, obey me. Wield your power in the Empire's name. This is different from the sound of everyone else's harmonics. It's like the feeling behind it is totally different. It's like the song is trying to trap me and force me to obey. Just like how Marion was being controlled. I can't take this. This is a song of pure domination. Fools. However many years may pass, mortals never change. They blind themselves to past mistakes, repeating them again and again and again. I cannot allow this. Oh, here we go. True Shining Dragon is coming out. Yuma? Hey, Yuma! His choker is lighting up. Okay, true power has been released. This is just the episode of everybody's true power being released. Sonia, welcome back to the team. Shining Dragon, welcome to the team. I like this form a lot better. The Shining Dragon. So this is the scope of its true power. I got four wings, bitch. Calm yourself, Shining Dragon. 
obey me and become the fourth of my spears. Hear my song. Yeah, that 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 garbage is not gonna work. Why do you rage so? Listen to my song. Listen to my harmonic. Calm your heart and. What? How? Dragon, I order you to calm. I play. Okay, I accidentally hit A, but. <sighs> Lady Excella, you have to run. The Shining Dragon cannot control its own power. What? If the Shining Dragon releases its full power, this whole city will be blown to oblivion. Get out of here, now! What about you? You can barely move, Trishula. I will not abandon you. Don't worry about me. Just go! <gasps> what hell would you do without us, Trishula? What? Gaborg? Princess, time to leave. Gumir, how did you get here? Sensed danger. We're escaping. Hurry. All right. Gaybold, please carry Trishula. Beatrice, we're getting on Gumir. Got it. Gaybold, are you ready? Naturally. Hold on, Trishula. Leave. <laughs> All right, now it's going to be 20 minutes of dialogue about how I'm trying to settle down. Yeah, but what about Yuma? I can feel an incredible amount of power coming from the Shining Dragon. Stronger than anything before. Well, did none of you notice that we changed into a whole new dragon? We're no longer the puny, you know, ground-bound dragon. Now, no, we got wings now. We can be impressed later. Hey, Yuma, can you hear me? You gotta calm down. Pull yourself together. Yuma! He can't hear us? It's just like before. Yeah, but this time he's on a whole other level. We gotta get through to him somehow. <laughs> uh, oh, Kirika freaking is getting an upgrade now. She got new clothes. This is. Kirika? How are they getting these costume changes mid-fight? You want to sing? But we already tried the power of the Diva Magica. Oh, well, I've leveled up to a new level of Diva Magica. No, Rina. This has nothing to do with my powers. I'm reaching out with my heart. Yuma needs to feel that we're here for him. Our friend Yuma is in there somewhere. And I know he can hear us. Yeah, we just gotta find him in there. You're right. Yeah, all right, Karika. Everyone, let's do this. Hell yeah, I made that kid a promise. Ready anytime, Lady Karika. Then let us begin. Yuma, please let my voice reach you. Yo, look at that! Look at look at that smirk on Agnum's face. What is that, dude? I understand how you feel. Excella tried to dominate the hearts of others, and you rage against her. But you must suppress that anger, or you will make a terrible mistake. Please, come back to us. Don't let yourself give in to your darker emotions. I'm gonna snap you out of this, just like I promised. So don't you give up either. You. Wake up! Can you hear us? This is our song. And it's for you. Yuma, just calm down. Relax your mind. I'm right here with you. Yuma, I need you to hear this. Not just for me, but for Ed. So please, listen. Yuma, I know you can hear us. We dedicate this song to you. Please, return to yourself, Yuma. Please. These voices. This song. What's going on? We're having an inner monologue with ourselves, it's Yuma. It's such a gentle song. It's like I can feel it moving me to my soul. 
It's nothing like Excellus song. It's not trying to force me to give up. Is this... is this... Kirika? And everyone else. I can feel it. I can feel everyone's hearts. I... I... huh? I... <laughs> Alright, Yuma, let's calm down. No! What am I doing? How could I let myself get so worked up over Excella's song? At this rate, it'll be just like... I, I want you to release that power. I, in fact, want to use the more powerful dragon. Kirika and Sonya would... No, not just them. Emma and Primula. Everyone in the city would die. That can't happen. I won't let that happen. I swear, if you say we're not using the power anymore... If you say we're not using the power anymore, Yuma, I'm out of here. I'm putting the controller down and I'm walking out. I like that pant, pant, pant. Yuma. Yuma. This is a dialogue for the ages. Dragon. Well done indeed. You held back my power. Did I do it? I kept myself from losing control? Be at peace, Yuma. You and your friends have done a fine job of wielding my power. Look around you. Is the ground scorched? Well, I can't no. see the ground. Not a single leaf, not a single blade of grass is disturbed. Alright, alright, man. We just fought on a bridge with two dragons spewing fire. I'm sure something got touched. You have changed my power. The power of a dragon. So can I use it? Everyone kept their promise. The triumph is not theirs alone. You have forged a conviction in your heart. Enough to withstand my strength. The conviction to protect those precious to you. Your friends and the people of this city. Yeah, I understand that now. I'll never forget how this feels. Now, Yuma, calm your heart. Return to the tranquility you know well. Return to your friends. But I must say, what a pleasant song. How long has it been since I heard such sweet melody? Shy thing. Huh? He's awake. Oh, what a relief. Kirika, Sonia, everyone. We're in my room. I see. You all brought me here, huh? <laughs> Don't sweat it. Not that heavy. Oh my, yes. Especially compared to Rin of... What? Oh, Fromage. You know what happens to people who spread rumors, don't you? <sighs> I'm just glad you're okay. Thank you, everyone. Um... What's wrong, Yuma? I didn't hurt anyone, did I? Rest easy. You regained control before anything happened. Really? I'm so glad. <laughs> there you go, Yuma. Told you we'd be ready with a wake-up call. And see? We kept our word, didn't we? 
Yeah, I heard all of you reaching out. It's only thanks to you that I calmed down before it was too late. So, they got through to you after all. Of course, Marion. It was a beautiful, clear sound. And Rinna's performance was so soft and gentle. Uh, oh! <laughs> you charmer, you're gonna make me blush. And Kirika's voice made me feel so calm. Oh. Yeah, through your song, I could feel you and everyone else reaching out to me. I could tell how worried you were. It was different from Excella's song. It felt so... gentle. I see. You did hear us. I suppose that means... I have learned to see you for who you are. Yeah. Well, I should let you have some peace. I'll see you tomorrow, Yuma. Kirika. Well, we gotta get some rest, too. You take it easy for a while. Okay. Thanks for stopping me, everyone. Good night. The band song, A Tree That Bears Happiness, has been unlocked. Yuma's trait, Powerful Feelings. The power of the Shining Dragon has been unleashed further than ever before. That was a form even I hadn't seen. The awakening of the Seventh Harmonic. The birth of the Seventh Dragoneer. Although but a glimpse, I'm finally starting to see the path to the last song. And all of it revolves around this boy, Yuma. This, perhaps, all this arose from Yuma's power. A power beyond my sight, beyond my comprehension. Hmm. The only problem now is that Imperial Princess, and how to best use the goals of the Sanguine Church. <sighs> I need to consider my next move. Okay, so that is... Opus 4 Golden Sonata completed, so uh, obviously the good time to call in an episode right here. A lot shorter than the last episode, but uh, we have some interesting things coming up in Opus 5, whatever that's going to be called. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop this one a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.